thing. Did you know that you can load up whatever save you have in either single player or multiplayer on the console version of No Man's Sky? I found that out. Now you know. Also, I followed a YouTube guide from a, a YouTuber who I fucking forgot. <clears throat> and set up a mining operation. Took me a while to find a copper deposit to set it up on. But I got it. And did you know that it mines while you've got the game turned off and you're away from it? So you don't have to sit there and babysit the game just to get resources? And the reason I'm sitting through this loading screen for so long is because I'm going to show you. Also, <clears throat> I tried adding more um, mineral extractors to the mix, but it didn't seem to do anything extra. It just looks like it spreads the load, the workload out evenly between them all. Which is weird. <clears throat> and I put a couple dozen, actually, of solar panels on the roof of my building. And I've got three square rooms full of batteries. Well, not full, but with batteries in them. And... No matter what I do, as far as power concern goes, the extractors always cycle through their animation. They don't keep on mining, they just go into a cycle. Which is odd. <clears throat> okay game, load up. I just woke up and loaded everything up. Now what I do is I take it over here to these portable refiners. <coughs> Excuse me. And once I find where it is, it'd be nice if there were buttons to take half. And right over here, it'd be nice if I could click on this number and just bring up a virtual keyboard and type in the amount that I want to work with. I didn't tell you to exit that. Almost half a million. Almost half a million of units worth. Hey, just hover over. Press X. Like it says in that little menu. Bloody brilliant. Wish I'd noticed that sooner. Yeah, when you're taking stuff out of here, you know, press A on it, press Y. You don't even have to move your control stick. Anyway. Yeah, I'll show you inside here. Got nothing but batteries around this terminus. Nothing but batteries and nothing but batteries. Now to show you the roof. Solar panels. Lots more solar panels. night hits, these will stop their animation cycling, and they'll go into a an dormant animated state, where they're not moving physically in the game. 
but they're not powered down. Which is weird. Because I just want them to keep going. When I first put them in, I thought I'd look in the supply depot and see this. This would be going. Yeah, like that. And this number would just, you know, one, two, over time. Instead of just every hour, it brings in, yay, so many, just all at once. And I was hoping that the more of these extractors I added, I've got like 13 right now, that it would just keep extracting faster and faster. And that number in that uh, storage depot would just rise faster. But that is not the case goes to the site. How long do you have until you're done? 22 minutes. Yeah, I'm gonna have to build a faster refiner. <laughs> Hopefully one that I can just plug right into the, the building. And run it off the electricity. Also, I really enjoy that there's solar panels in this game. I really do. <coughs> but enough of me yammering on and waxing idiotic about things. For those of you who care about the idea and the feedback I gave for clicking on this number and just typing it in on a virtual keyboard how many you wanted to process, yeah, go ahead and tell Hello Games or uh, whoever the fuck's in charge of No Man's Sky because I'm jaded. I'm just jaded and too lazy to actually give a fuck to go and talk to them or attempt to talk to them. Besides, the more people who say they want a thing, the more likely it, that thing is to be put into the game. Enough of me waxing idiotic. Support your favorite idiot today with the links in the description of this YouTube video for Patreon and PayPal. Till next time. Hope someone got some information out of this. Oh, oopsie, they stopped. <laughs>